All right, y'all. Welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. All right, y'all. Welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. So today's video, we're checking out the French Raid Unit, and that stands for Recherche. You need to seek out Recherche, the that, criminal. That, no, that means wanted in French. Oh, <laughs> Recherche, assistance, intervention, dissuasion, which is basically their search, assistance, intervention, and deterrence. So it's sort of like a police unit. I guess it's kind of like an anti-terror unit or like a counter-terror unit. But yeah, these guys are pretty hardcore. I'm not sure how they actually compare with the French GIGN or how their missions sort of relate to each other. But yeah, it looks like, a, it looks like they have some pretty solid equipment. And again, I found an awesome montage video to check out because these guys, I mean, with these certain counter-terror units, it's kind of hard sometimes to find just some solid informational videos about them. So I guess we'll have to make do with a montage video, which I'm totally fine with, because again, we can always check out the awesome gear and we can sort of see how it might relate to their job. But yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. I'm very excited. French Raid. I mean, it's a pretty badass name in and of itself. So let us get into it. Cool emblem. Okay, so already, yeah, we're seeing a lot of stuff that you'd see with like a SWAT unit or counter terror unit. So we saw like an armored vehicle, like SWAT trucks. Um, the one I'm most familiar with is the Lenko Bearcat, just because that's the one I used when I was um, doing nuclear security. So they have some SWAT trucks, they have ballistic shields, they have, you know, just generally the same stuff you'd normally see, even the black uniforms, that's pretty iconic for a counter terror unit. And um, I guess some people were saying, Sometimes they wear that just so they don't look like they're in the military, but at the same time, yeah, black is pretty pretty bad color. Because again, it's just super easy to see, but yeah, so they have pretty similar equipment. We saw some Glocks, we saw some Safari Land holsters, solid equipment. You can imagine their funding is going to be pretty decent. Oh, okay. Very nice. Okay, the shields, classic face mask. I like, I really like the G36 with the EOTEX. Now the G36, you don't see that as much as you used to. I'm not sure how many units still use it, um, but G36, again, it's a Heckler & Koch rifle. It's a pretty solid carbine. Um, and then they also have the EOTech, an awesome optic, especially for a close quarter battle or any sort of SWAT style stuff. But they sort of seem like they're in like sort of like a riot, uh, like a riot gear because they have like the face shields and they have a whole lot of padding all over. So I'm not sure if they ever have to do anything like that. But judging by their name, they probably have to do a, a lot of or like a, a big span of operations or a lot of different missions. So. Okay, again, you can always get a pretty good idea of what they what they do just based off of the equipment they have. Okay. Nice. Huh. I wonder what that was from. They tase him? Wow. I like that. So again, you can see that they probably get called for a lot of different operations. So I'm not sure if this is the same unit or if they just have different people that do this, but this looks, looks like some sort of like personal security detail. Cause you can see they're like generally in plain clothes, but they have like the body armor and the holsters. So pretty cool. That looks like a fun job for sure.
pretty dark. <laughs> Blurred faces. Okay, that's a nice little van set up. Oh, nice. Okay. I like how a lot of them have the ballistic shields. That's interesting. So... They definitely seem like they roll pretty deep with the amount of people they go in to clear certain rooms with. And again, they a lot of them, they, a lot more than you'd normally see at least, had the ballistic shields. So I'm sure these guys are used to doing things where they're probably at the potential risk of being under fire. But yeah, I like how they're, they're rolling in deep, they're rolling in violence. And uh, yeah, I, I guess it just goes to show what sort of operations they do. Probably not so much for hostage rescue, more for like detaining or neutralizing certain people. But, okay, I mean, I like the violence for sure. Hmm. Yeah, again, th there's like a lot of them. They seem like they're doing some larger scale stuff. Nice rifle. Hmm. I'm guessing a lot of this footage is from their their actual operations, which is cool to see. So a lot of times when you see stuff like this, this is very like riot police when you have this many people in this sort of formation. Formation, But yeah, they have random people with ballistic shields in the middle of this, and then they have people who are just chilling. This dude looks like he's flagging his buddy, by the way. But yeah, there's just a lot of people walking about like they're not really concerned, and then these guys look like they're really concerned about something. So I don't know, it could just be a, a flex for the camera, but I'm not really sure what they're doing right now if they have to respond to a lot of stuff or do any sort of riot control, because that's what it looks like. I love the G36. <laughs> okay. Nice rifle. That's a heavy barrel too. Okay. Very solid equipment, so they have a decent budget. Okay. The Team Wendy helmets, I like it. Nice setup. Hmm. Yeah, so we're not seeing so much of like a difference for like other police units. Again, some of it does look like uh, more of like a riot control, but at the same time, you can see they're doing a lot of other operations that don't really pertain remotely to riot control. So I guess they're sort of, they could just be like a, a end all be all for like counter terror police just you know, have a bunch of people who are capable of doing a bunch of different things. So that, that's what it's generally looking like, what we're seeing. But again, their budget looks pretty intense. Those sniper rifles are very solid. Their ghillie suits didn't look that great, to be honest. But uh, I mean, again, it's just, it's cool to see it in the video. At least some people in the units are utilizing it. Nice reload.
He had a stock folded. Interesting choice. <laughs> oh, the lasers. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people, dude. They're not messing about. Someone messed up. <laughs> Interesting doing like ceremony with the helmets on. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, very solid montage, I'll say that. Now, again, we did see a lot of similarities with other counter-terror police. Yeah, I guess these guys definitely fill a role. I'm not sure how big their force is, but they definitely seem like they have a lot of people to, to respond with. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if they have like regional offices though, because you'll see that with different offices, especially like we saw with the Swedish um, PK-10, they had like regional areas. They weren't so much like the national task force. So it could be very similar to that. So if you guys live in France or if you have any firsthand knowledge about the French raid units and what they're used for and you know instances that they've responded to in the past, put that in the comment section because again, it's sort of hard to distinguish sometimes what certain units are used for. And again, we were able to look at their equipment, but they had some very you know thick padding. They had more padding than you would see with a lot of other units. They had the face shields, which might just be because like the French GIGN sort of made that a thing. But yeah, I don't know. It's uh, interesting to see people utilizing like ballistic face shields like that, especially for, for a close quarter operation. It makes sense, especially when there's a high risk, but it's just not something you'd see because people just generally don't like, don't like to wear that much protection. So yeah, these guys seem like they're not messing about and they're not too concerned about their comfort. They're probably more concerned about the violence and making sure that, that that threat is taken care of in a timely manner, which seems like they do a pretty good job of that. But yeah, if you guys have any experience with the French raid or any knowledge, put that in the comments section. I would really appreciate it, uh, especially like any historical events, um, you know, that they actually took a part of or, or any terrorist incidents. Um, that'd be interesting to check out. But yeah, let me know in the comment section regardless what you think about these badasses. Again, it's always cool to check out this sort of equipment that we can see with these counter-terror police. Because again, they are the police. People don't really expect them to have as much gear as the military, but you'd, you'd be surprised, especially with France and the Paris attacks. They're probably not messing about when it comes to counter-terrorism. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a very solid montage, of course. I'll put the link down in the video description for the original video. So if you guys want to go check it out, I might change the music because it's a little much, but yeah, I don't know. Or if I get copyright claim, then I'll change the music. But yeah, pretty cool montage. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. So I will see you all in the next one.